Over here. Hey, over here! Hey! Hey, over here! Hey! Hey, over here! Over here. This is new. Manifest corruption. It triggered an instant blackout. Probably to correct the anomaly. It didn't fix it. It just moved.
corruption.
I can see all the orbs from here.
Coming up on 90 kilometers, slowing down.
That's a man cage. Do tell. You don't want to know. It's horrible. enjoy themselves surrounded by man cages. Oh, God. 
This place is horrible. How could anyone enjoy themselves surrounded by man cages? pulsing from those cylinders through the suit. It feels like a really loud bass. It's not sonic. The field print tells me they're hyperconductors. The force applied to sustain them ripples the suit somehow. Veins flowing with answers. Come again. These are what's making it all possible. To keep sync on a planetary scale. Every few minutes, every blueprint is maintained meticulously. Imagine if the palace was populated. The chaos of input, analysis, and reaction. All that wasted on some sick game. A game that will bring Foster back. I just need to beat it. We've seen nothing here that proves Foster can come back. On the contrary, the Echoes aren't you, N. Just like recreating Foster will not be Foster. He's dead. But he's not. That's what I keep saying. He didn't die. He was translated. To you, it's so fresh in memory, your adrenaline is pumping. But in reality, he died more than a century ago. And you hope to bring him back. It's just crazy. It can be done. Grant's explained it to me. But I doubt you'll understand. Try me. The apparatus translated Foster into a Kaya supersymmetrical manifold. The corresponding material field was captured in solid form, the cube. He really is in there, still alive, and the palace will re-manifest him. That is just ridiculous. The manifold is a theoretical shortcut. 
Not even during the push was it pursuit of that end. My guess is it was. When else would this place be thought up? I figure some rich house considered this their retirement plan as the requisition jitters started to gain momentum. You just speak whatever comes to your mind. How do the echoes fit into this nursing home theory of yours? For one who's seen it all, you really are very narrow-minded. Reality is diverse, and the Push era was notoriously considered the era of splintered humanity, spreading through the universe brought about extreme human constellations. Don't you try giving me history lessons. I'm just saying that the wealth needed to develop tech like this, the ability to keep it secret, their grotesque imagining of paradise, it all matches a recluse house. The Echoes were probably entertainment to them, seeing the lower castes fighting to survive. The creators expected to be gods here and designed everything to constantly remind them that they were. And the resourceful spend their lives preparing for the challenge of being gods? I suspect Grimm's first class. More like gate fashion. That would mean fighting to gain privilege and access. Constant betterment. That's what Gramps prepared us for. And that's exactly what's needed to finish this.